What's up guys? I want to do a quick video on a few things I've learned as far as calibrating my pack clamps go, which may seem like a simple run of the mill task, but I've actually had some challenges figuring out exactly how to do this. So with that being said, um, number one thing I've learned is the most important thing to do is stir while you're in your measurement after your, your pipe clamp's been stabilized already. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to do this uh, with Major Quick. So, got them stabilized right now out of the water. I'm gonna go to the graph. So, should be my suction or liquid probe rather. So it's dropping quickly. I'm just gonna wait until it flat lines, kind of plateaus and stops dropping here, stops uh, fluctuating. So I'm gonna keep stirring here. Looks like we're still just barely dropping. Another thing I found that seems to make a difference is uh, using a plastic bowl versus another type of well, like glass or ceramic. I'm not sure why, but that gets you a, a more accurate reference temperature. Um, I've also heard crushed ice makes a big difference. So I've got crushed ice in here right now and we're still dropping. Let's see where we're at exactly. Okay, we're at 33.8 right now. Still dropped a little bit. So I could just focus on stirring here. <laughs> so, another thing with these, uh, Field piece pipe clamps. They, you only want the water submerged in the tip to, uh, I'll work my fingers here, you can see. You don't really wanna go below that. These are fairly water resistant, but um, there is a lot of electronics in here, so you don't wanna risk damage or anything risk of damaging anything so we're down to about 33.1 still dropping just barely One thing that's nice about Measure Quick is the uh, signal is shown on your right. The Bluetooth signal is actually, or the, the logo that looks like a Bluetooth logo, it's actually telling you how recent your signal was from the probes you're connected to. So green is a second or less. Um, yellow is it's, it's more than a second for sure. I can't remember. Red is... is uh, or you might have a connectivity problem. It's, you're, you're not going to be able to trust a reading when you have a red, red color Bluetooth logo next to whatever probe you're connected to. So if you ever see red, you just gotta wait for it to turn green, or if it's been a minute or two, maybe start looking to see if there's some sort of problem with your device being disconnected or something like that. 
So it looks like we're down to about 33.0. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that stabilize. So I'm gonna go ahead and offset it here down to 32. So these are rated at um, plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit. So um, with a 32 reference temperature and we're at reading, we're reading 33, uh, that's right on the money as far as how accurate these probes are supposed to be. So I'm happy with that. Um, but I had to actually talk to the, the lead lead trainer for Fieldbeat to figure this out. So that this is hopefully this will help somebody. But um, it, it looks like the the key with calibrating uh, these pipe clamps is really just stirring the water, the ice bath, and giving it some time. You know, after you put the water in, after you put the the ice in. Um, I also use filter water, so that gives you more accurate reference point too. So, um, yeah, anyway, hope, hope this helps somebody out, leave a comment and, uh, don't forget to subscribe if this helped y'all out.